Hey everyone, it's Johnny here from Flexible Digital Urban Modelling, a class with Dr Marcus White of the University of Melbourne. Uh, today I'm going to take you through a basic tutorial when creating uh, or using light analysis to test um, how much light a street might receive. Um, and this is useful, uh, I guess, to test proposed developments within an urban area to see um, how much light a street's going to receive uh, with a, cer you know, a certain size of building and whether specifying you know, particular colours or you know, materiality of a building um, or even setbacks can increase um, ambient lighting um, within the street to a, a decent level and testing it at, at um, all times of the year. So to begin with, I'm going to create a ground plane Do we're not actually going to use this? Might turn my grid off. I open my material editor. I want to give this just a, a basic color. It's important that we give um, our material, our objects, uh, proper uh, materials. Um, there's a whole suite here um, that you can use, but later on you might want to test out um, the different qualities, like different stone or or um, concrete surfaces. Okay, and now on my ground plane, I want to create a, you know, a simple building. There we go. So I want that height to be approximately 60 meters. Um, maybe length 30, width, I'm going to say 70. <clears throat> and now I want to copy this by hitting control V and just making it a copy. I want to move this there's probably a better way to do this but I'm just moving it to approximately uh, the face of the, of the other building and then I'm going to right click on the move tool and make this about minus say, 75. This is pretty rough you, you, May, you, you know, when you're doing it you might want to make it a bit more exact there we go and that's our basic street with our two buildings I want to give these buildings a different material so I'll just give it this default here and then next I'm going to create a sun so going up to create systems daylight yes I'm just dragging out my sun Yes, and it's dragging out the, the sun there from the compass, and just checking that your compass is um, orientated in the right direction. Uh, you can change this by choosing the direction of north here. I'm happy with how it is. Now I'm going to get set my location. So go to get location. I'm in Australia and Melbourne, so Australia, Melbourne, okay. And you can see here, this is the sun angle with shade on June 21st. And if you can't see the shade, you may need to go up here and turn on uh, both realistic and also um, illuminate with scene lights for shadow, lighting and shadow. Okay, now I wanna, I've got my sun selected. I want to... Um, change a few of their settings. So first of all you want to make sure that the sky model is set to CIE. Um, you can choose either overcast or clear. We'll start with overcast and we can change that later to see what the difference is. Next I'm going to also create a, a quick camera. I can just use a free camera here and it's a, I, want it to, I do actually want it to be facing down like that, but obviously I want it to be located over um, my building, so scrolling out to find my camera, and I'm going to move it over that. Moving it up, I might just turn on my camera, go to camera, 
in row one. Right, so now I can sort of, I can see you know, where I'm moving my camera to a bit more accurately. Put it approximately in the center. I'm moving it away a bit. Okay, that's good. I actually set my daylight time, so go back to the modifier. I want mine to be. I guess this is probably the, you know the lowest, the lowest time that the sun is in the sky in Melbourne. Um, I'm going to go to setup and change it to about one o'clock. I want to maximize my camera viewport. Now I want to add a light meter. So going to light analysis, choosing lighting analysis assistant. First of all, it's good to check um, the status down here, and it will tell you if there's any invalid objects. Um, if you have a number here, then you know, work out whether it's the lighting or materials, and um, it gives you the option to to change these from within here, within the lighting analysis assistant. Now uh, we're looking pretty good. Um, I'm going to keep it simple and use load lighting analysis render presets. Let's remember to render now. And I want to actually change um, change this to be a bit quicker because we're going to be doing a few renders and this is just um, just for tests. So I'm going to move these all to low. Otherwise, we'll be waiting for a long time. And later on, you may want to uh, increase these. Um, and we want to have some final gather bounces. So this is um, this this is the way that the light bounces off objects, and this is quite important for what we are doing. But we'll start with just two and turn on five final gather. You can see here that it looks like our material is actually some sort of concrete, but that works fine. So um, right. load lighting analysis render presets and go then go to the analysis output tab and we want to create a light meter so this button and drag that out you can, and then you can change the same with any object change the width and the length and also the segments. So this is the number of, I guess, individual light meters. Um, that looks about right. And now within the lighting analysis assistant, calculate all light meters now. There we go. And I, want, I think we need to probably adjust our, um, our colors a bit. So we go back to general tab. Scroll down, and you can see here that the the maximum lux is set to ten thousand. And I can see here that my maximum lux is actually you know, almost fifteen thousand. So I'm going to put it up to fifteen thousand. And that way we get some better um, sort of color gradients. And you can see here that um, we're receiving a pretty decent level of light. So it's under half what it's what the the light is um, outside of the shade. Um, and then we can test how this changes depending on say what material we give to our buildings. Yeah, at the moment this is quite light. So if I make this dark, like black, and then I hit the analysis output calculate all light meters now and we can see here that the color of the building definitely makes a big impact and then we can also um, we want, if we want to create a render that has the numbers involved we can go to 
lighting analysis create lighting analysis image overlay and I'll scroll down and I might I, I think I want to change it to show numbers okay we can try and render cloneness Can compare later. Close this, and now I might change my um, my building material to be white. See how it, see what the difference is. Okay, so I'll change my materials. Go back to lighting analysis assistant. Calculate all light meters now. And you can see here that the colour of the buildings almost double the amount of lux the opposite side of the street is receiving. So we'll render that first and keep it aside. And clone. Now I can also select my, my sun by using the my select from scene icon. The daylight, okay. I'll modify and I'll change it to clear sky. We can see if this makes a difference. And again, go back to lighting analysis assistant and calculate all light meters now. And you can actually see that with the with the clear sky, it actually receives less light. So I guess clouds help. That's understandable because clouds probably help to uh, sort of disperse light more evenly through a space. Okay, so I'll duplicate that. If I bring these back onto the the screen. We've got our, our very dark buildings. And our lighter coloured buildings. And then here we have the lighter coloured buildings on a clear day. And you can compare the differences. And from here you might want to also uh, manipulate the form of the buildings to see whether um, that it, how that impacts the light within the street um, and actually start using some specific materials that could be um, on site. I imagine that you could be quite accurate uh, with this kind of uh, modeling. Yeah, and that's, that's about it. So I hope that was useful. It's pretty basic. I'm just learning it myself. Um, yeah, catch you next time.